Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we're going to talk about this guy right here. This is the Moose. It is a 3 in 1 3D printer, CNC machine, and laser engraver. So this video is just my first looks and kind of initial experience with the, with this machine. Um, it is not a review by any means. We're just going to talk a little bit about it and uh, what I've experienced so far. So this machine came a few weeks ago and I actually unboxed it on stream. I won't show the footage here because unboxings are a little boring in my opinion. But it was very nicely packaged. It is somewhat of a kit, but it's an extremely easy kit. Basically, you're just screwing on each of these axes, the head, and then plugging in a few wires. So really easy to put together. But where it sets itself apart is the ability to swap out the heads and use effectively different tools. So like right here, you can see that is a nozzle for a 3D printer. This right here is the CNC end. You can see the sharp little tip there. And the one on there right now is a laser engraver. There's just a little uh, laser LED underneath here. And I did do a couple of test prints with the 3D printing side of it, but honestly, I'm less interested in that side of it. Um, I have a ton of 3D printers and I've used small 3D printers like this, small build volume, and I really know what I'm going to expect there. In the full review, I will test it out quite a bit more and see what kind of quality of prints I can get out of it. But what really caught my attention about this is the laser engraving and CNC. I've never used machines like this before. Um, I've never even seen them operating in person. So this will be a totally new experience and I'm really excited to see what the uh, possibilities are. So first up, um, swapping out these heads is really, really easy. Um, I was kind of worried that it would be kind of a pain in the butt, but it's actually uh, very straightforward. There are just four screws in the back. There's eight holes there, but you can kind of um, pick which set you use. Then you just remove the screws from here, unplug this, swap out, put the new head on, screw it in, plug that cable back in, and you're pretty much ready to go. So I was very surprised and very pleased that that was so easy to do. One thing that is not really quick and easy to do is this bed. You can see here, I've got the um, CNC bed on here, and this is what I was using for the laser engraving too. It basically just um, holds whatever material you have in there, in this case I have wood, it holds it in place so it can do its thing. But when you're using the 3D printing side of it, it has a separate bed for that that helps the plastic you're extruding stick to the bed. And so you do need to swap them out, and the screws are under here. It's still just four screws, but um, they're fairly difficult to get to, and I think it's more of an inconvenience than anything. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to do. But that's a pretty minor gripe. The one issue that I really did have with the CNC platform is these clamps. Um, they are kind of an awkward size, and basically how it works is there are a bunch of little holes and you can unscrew and move these little rails to different spots on here to um, fit bigger and smaller pieces and then to further adjust it you can turn these screws to tighten in on the piece and make sure you've got it held in place which is nice in theory but I've I've run like three different types of materials through there they were at that awkward size where these screws couldn't quite reach them but I couldn't move this forward anymore which isn't the end of the world it's just, I think if I continue and use this thing a lot, I'm probably gonna end up designing my own clamp system here, or maybe there's one out there. If you know something like that that would work good for this, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna 3D print something to hold these in place. And then, I wanna talk about this little guy here. It's basically like a little controller. It's not wireless. There is definitely a wire there, and it's magnetic, so it kinda snaps into place right there. But this thing is actually super handy. I, I really liked it. It's simple, very clean UI, and it just kind of makes sense, which is very, very handy. This little thing actually works a lot better than some of the full color LCD screens I've seen on like $1,500 printers that we own. So major props to them on this. And then I also wanted to mention that I really liked how you um, sort of tell it where the piece is, because obviously when you're using a 3D printer, the corner of the bed is pretty much where you're gonna start every single time. But with a CNC or a laser engraver, you're gonna have a wide range of materials, so there needs to be an easy way of telling it um, where that piece is and how big that piece is. And now, it doesn't do a super great job because it doesn't have any sensors or anything. You basically tell it, and if you tell it the wrong thing, it can very easily go off of the piece and probably end up damaging some of these pieces in the process. But as long as you tell it the right thing, it'll do the right thing. You can see I cut out my logo Go right here in the wood. I'll get some better pictures of this, but basically what you do is you find the lower left corner and put the tool head right there and that tells it where it is. And then it'll just start going. But you also have to keep in mind that it does not know where the top of the piece is or the right side. And if the G-code tells it to keep going up here, it's going to do that. So you just have to keep that in mind. 
But I found the CNC part worked really, really well. Everything worked as I expected it would. And this is another test print that I got. Um, you can see there's quite a few random little pieces in there. And quite a few of them overlapped because I didn't want to get a new piece of wood. But there's actually a sort of 2.5D unicorn here, which is pretty freaking cool. And I'm excited to be able to do that with some of my own pictures. So the CNC part of it worked pretty easily. I did have a little bit of issues with the laser. And now this is probably just because um, I've never used a laser before, but the instructions were no help here. Now I'm sure in a bit they're gonna come out with some better and more refined instructions, but for now I just got a Word document that was half in Chinese, half in English, and it was very broken English and all of the steps weren't there. But I was still able to get through most of it, being a complete noob. So it's mostly functioning, but where I did have an issue was the laser engraver. So basically what they tell you to do is go down to that lower left corner again, and then they tell you to bring the laser 20 millimeters up and that's where you should start. So I did that and I actually covered this whole thing in different prints, but aside from this Moose logo right here, I had things going all over this and you cannot see them because if you catch it in the right light you can kind of see them but that is because the laser was not actually engraving it very much and not really knowing how to focus that laser um, I didn't really know what to do so I ended up just adjusting it and through trial and error I found that um, about 60 millimeters is what gave me this result now I don't know why that is and I don't know why the instructions told me to go 20 millimeters if you know let me know down in the comments I did notice that I'm pretty sure the laser in here is a 60 millimeter laser so those two seem to match up but that could just be a coincidence um, if you know more about that feel free to let me know down in the comments and I also wanted to mention that they did not send um, any safety glasses for looking at the laser and I believe there was also supposed to be a case that goes with this that helps kind of block out the laser light because you are not supposed to look at these lights with your bare eyes. You can damage your eyes pretty easily. Luckily I did have a pair of glasses but still I think that's something they should include if they didn't maybe I just didn't get mine. And then just to call out a few other weird things that I had. Um, this thing does not like to stop when you tell it to stop, which can be pretty bad. In the event that you tell it the wrong size and the CNC head is sort of going into areas you don't want it to, you want that stop button to work. And I found that it was shoddy at best. Sometimes it would stop immediately. Sometimes it would stop after the current um, action was done. But sometimes it would just ignore it completely, gray out the button so I couldn't click it again, and then it just would not stop. And I don't know why, but I just ended up having to shut off the power in those situations. Another thing that I find is weird that if you stop the laser engraver, the light stays on. And that's very bad because it's just burning a hole in the wood and can very easily start a fire. So I'm sure that's something they can patch out in firmware and future updates and stuff like that. But for now, that's a pretty big safety issue in my eyes. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for my uh, first looks and first uses of this machine. Like I said, I mostly ran test prints, but I did slice my logo for that one. And things have been working pretty well so far. So I'm going to be testing this out quite a bit more in the coming weeks, coming months. And I'll probably end up incorporating these into my project somehow. So I'm pretty excited to see what the possibilities are there. If you have any cool ideas, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Now, they are running a Kickstarter right now, and I'm going to put a link to that down in the description so you can check it out. But I am going to caution you about backing it, because um, we've all been burned by Kickstarter projects that kind of fall through. So I'm going to say back this at your own risk. I don't think it's a very expensive printer, but still there is a chance that you'd essentially be gambling with your money. But from what I've seen so far, this seems like a very promising machine. It's a very sturdy little machine and I'm very excited to use it in the future. So feel free to check it out down there. There are a couple different versions of this printer. I think you can even get a Delta 3D printer, and there's another one that has another rail over here for added stability, I think. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful, and then keep your eye out for this guy and some of my future projects. And then, of course, when the review comes out, I will put a link down in the description of this video, and I'll probably put it up in a card in the corner so you guys can see what my final verdict is on this guy. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep creating.